will never force anyone to rip out their existing boiler and replace it with a heat pump. I can promise you it works perfectly. They can't afford the £13,000 for a heat pump. How we heat our homes was never so controversial. But with heating making up a third of the UK's emissions, we will have to ditch our favourite fuel. So what's the alternative? The government is backing heat pumps for most homes, but will they keep us warm in a winter chill? And are they even affordable? This detached home on a cul-de-sac in Woking is having a makeover. Wow, so you've got a lot of work going on here, shall we? Yes. <laughs> when do you hope to have it all done? Um, another, hopefully, two weeks. Two weeks. Sharma just bought this house, knowing the gas boiler was past it. It's being replaced with a heat pump. For me, it was the cutting the energy bills. Secondly, and I think equally importantly, it was the system the sustainability aspect. Mm. Despite softening the policy on banning new gas boilers, the government now provides up to £7,500 to households making the switch to a heat pump. This unit, water tank, radiators and extra insulation have cost around £14,000, reduced to 6500 after the government grant. Still too pricey for many, but Sharma believes she'll make that back over time on her bills. I must admit, I've been sceptical, so I understand. I've been there, so I'll be able to share the story and mm. uh, yeah, hopefully get others um, convinced as well. Sales of heat pumps are increasing, but we're still way behind our European neighbours and have a mountain to climb to reach the 600,000 a year the government has targeted by 2028. Many still need convincing, whether in headlines or on the high street. What, if anything, do you know about heat pumps as a way of heating your home? Oh, not a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, an engineer recommended that my house would not be suitable for a heat pump. I think they're ex terribly expensive to run, and therefore when we've just done our refurb, we decided against it. And gas and boiler companies think consumers should have more choice about how to heat their homes. The Energy and Utilities Alliance lobbies on their behalf. We've seen a lot of opposition in parts of the media towards heat pumps. Do you think that's justified? It probably reflects uh, where, where consumers are because of that, uh, that fear that they're going to be forced to, to put a heat pump in. And where do they find that £13,000 from? Does the oil and gas industry have a role in shaping public opinion over heat pumps? I mean, in effect, have you been scaremongering over them? Uh, far from it. Our members make heat pumps, they make boilers, they make parts for heat networks, heat interface units. So we are you know, technology agnostic, but we want to do what is right for the consumer because fundamentally that's got to be the way forward to get to net zero. If we alienate the consumer on the journey to net zero, my fear and the fear of people in, in organisations like mine is that we'll fail to get to net zero and that would be the biggest crime of all. Back at Sharma's house, the Swedish company installing her heat pump is betting big on demand growing in Britain. Do you think misinformation is being spread about heat pumps? Absolutely. And I think most of it is simply built on ignorance. So you have to learn how the technology works. If you know how it works, I can promise you it works perfectly. In reality, very few homes really need anything done to be able to fit a heat pump. That being said, the more energy efficient a home is, the more efficient the heat pump will be, but also the more efficient the gas boiler will be. <laughs> but away from all the noise, there are happy customers out there. Against the advice of his golf club friends, Peter ditched his gas boiler last year. So how have you found heating with a heat pump? Well, we, we've really enjoyed it. My wife finds the house warmer than it's ever been. You know, we get up in the morning, um, I don't need to put a dressing gown on, it's just an even temperature all around the house. And how much is that costing you? Is it more than it was before? N no, no, it's in terms of equating it to the, the comparison with, with the gas, uh, it's about two thirds of the price. So heat pumps are coming and they are expensive up front, but those using them report very high levels of satisfaction. The challenge for the government is what to do with those who can't afford to make the change without leaving them out in the cold. Tom Heap, Sky News.